Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com, back with another quick tip episode for you today. Today we are talking about five signs that you have overpacked for your cruise. Now before we get started, I, Sherry, am not trying to convert you to a carry-on packer. I promise, it's not about that. It's just about helping you out and looking for some signs that maybe you're in over your head, you're in trouble, and you're not gonna enjoy how much baggage you have packed for your cruise. So if you're interested in this topic, let's get started. The first sign that you have overpacked for your cruise is a very practical one, and that is that your suitcase is simply overweight for your flight. Now, cruise lines don't really limit the amount of luggage that you take on board. You can basically take as many bags as you want. They can weigh whatever they want to weigh. It really doesn't matter. But if you're flying to port, it's a pretty practical consideration. So make sure that you check with your airline. And if you're checking your bags, make sure that you check out what that weight limit is for that flight. That will be sign number one, a very practical consideration. Number two, when you prepared for your cruise, you did not pack in outfits. What does that mean? That means that you might have grabbed five t-shirts, five pairs of shorts, and a few dresses, but you didn't lay everything out to see if it matches. Do the shirts match the shorts? Do you have pa pants that match sweaters and sweatshirts? Or is it just kind of a free-for-all and you'll see how it goes once you get on the cruise ship? Better to lay everything out on your bed or just anywhere in your home and pack by outfit. That doesn't mean you have to have it all figured out by the day. It doesn't have to be like, Monday I'm going to wear this. No, no, no. Just make sure things color coordinate and they match reasonably well and that you have accessories to go with each outfit, shoes to go with each outfit. And if you stick with kind of a certain color palette, you might find that you can pack a little bit less because things tend to match. Number three tip for you today on how to avoid overpacking is to make sure that the things that make it into your suitcase are things that you like. You have packed clothes that you will reach for, that make you feel good, not things that when you see them in the closet, you go, ooh, I don't wanna wear that. There's no dread around any of these clothes. That doesn't mean you have to go shopping for a new wardrobe by any means. It just means that you packed clothes, shoes, and accessories that you will reach for and that you reasonably like. The number four sign that you have overpacked for your cruise is that you look at that suitcase or the final group of suitcases for your cruise party and you get a feeling of dread when you see it. You're like, wah, 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 this is too much stuff and I know I don't wanna have to deal with all of this. It's too much for me to schlep around. If you have that feeling, if you have that spuddy sense kind of tingling and not tingling in a good way, you might need to lighten that load a little bit, open up the suitcase, really take a look at everything and see what it is that's going on. What did you pack too much of? Number five is actually something that happens to people on a cruise ship. This is our last tip for the, for the day. And that is that you're at the end of your cruise and you take a look at your closet and there's tons of stuff that you didn't wear. So a little too late, right? You've already packed for the cruise, but now you know for your next cruise that maybe you overdid it. Take a look at the stuff that you did not wear or use and make a little note on your mobile phone or in a, in a notepad app somewhere of the things that you did and did not reach for on that cruise and make yourself a packing list for the next time. Or better yet, check out our Intro to Cruising Masterclass. We have a discount code and a link for you in the description of this video. It's an awesome course with lots of planning and packing lists and downloads that you're totally going to enjoy. And of course, we have a discount for you. All the deets are down below. So I actually made it through this list of packing tips without mentioning packing cubes. How did that happen? <laughs> Of course, I love packing cubes, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We do also have an awesome cruise uh, store that you can shop if you're looking for germ fighters, motion sickness essentials, packing cubes, cruise fashion, things to keep your stateroom organized. It's all in our shop down below. Thank you all so much for tuning in for these quick tips. Be sure to leave your packing light tips in the comments below. Give us a quick thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you take off. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.